Okay, this video is to um, help the members from Peak Forever understand how to create blog posts on their own. So as you can see, here's the home page for Peak Forever. If you scroll down to the bottom um, of the home page, you'll see you'll have the latest show up right here, but you can also um, scroll up and uh, You'll see blog here in the navigation as well. But uh, if you aren't already logged in, what you'll do is you'll go to pinkforever.org forward slash dashboard or login. I'll take you to the same place. And you will go ahead and type in your credentials here. Log you in. I was already logged in, but anyway. So you'll click this little um, add pages and navigation to your site icon and it'll bring up a menu or you can also go to your site map but we will just do this for now what you're going to be creating is a blog entry so click on blog entry and it'll bring up a new um, composer this is concrete 5 so whenever you create a new page or blog entry or anything like that it'll go to the composer so you'll have to have these things readily available, but um, or I guess you can just do them on the fly. But you'll, your entry name is going to be the title of your blog post. So um, for the one we just did, I'll go back to that page so you can see what I've done previously. Let's see. So you can go ahead and um, look at what. I've already done. Oops, sorry. So I'm going to go to my site map and find the blog post that I created this morning. It is to watch what you eat. So if I click on this little icon, it'll take me back to my composer, which is what it brings up when you are first creating the blog post. So the entry name or title of the blog entry was to watch what you eat. The URL slug is what you're going to see after um, blog and, uh, forward slash pink forever in the URL. So you, you'll see the dashes. So if you want to change this, you'll just click that um, edit icon and it'll let you do what it what you want. So everything right here, entry name and short description, is what Concrete 5 is going to pull um, from your attributes of your page. So when you uh, use the description attribute, it will say to watch what you eat, uh, pipe, pink forever, ink. Um, this is where you would also add your topic where you want it sorted. Now um, Google and search engines will pull the data from this where it says meta. So the meta title and the meta description I usually just pull the same thing from here and paste it here as well. So when you paste or when Google reads your page, they're going to be pulling from this. So it'll say pinkforever.org um, and then the title of this page will be to watch what you eat and it will have the Pink Forever Inc. Uh, title as well. And then the little description underneath will be salmon recipe Pink Forever Inc. So you guys can change this as necessary. Now, um, the thumbnail right here is what Concrete 5 will pull for kind of like the featured image of this specific post. And the OG image is Open Graph, which is what Facebook and Google and um, a lot of other technologies use to pull um, the image from for their use. So when you post your image on, uh, or sorry, you post your URL on Facebook, Facebook will scrape the information from this open graph uh, stuff and then it'll that's where it's pulling it from. So the thumbnail, I, I duplicate the information because it's going to different two different sources. I don't typically edit anything right here. It just um, I will I'm going back to another the, the clean tab, the clean one. After I've uh, filled out all this information, I will go to edit mode and this is where I will um, add all my information that you actually see right here. 
this is just this one is a post that's already been created so you'll see these highlighted areas as you hover over they will highlight in green this means that you are able to edit now if you're not familiar with concrete 5 if you click right here this takes you in and out of edit mode since we are creating a brand new post it automatically puts you into edit mode uh, so a content block here is where you would put your text so I will click edit block and um, let's see if I have didn't think about this ahead of time just find some text and we're not using this so I'm just pasting whatever I can find right now so I pasted some text here and you click save all this stuff isn't live until you publish it so you can play with it however you want now if you want to add so you want to add an image you click the plus sign and it'll bring you to all these different blocks that you can choose from so since we're going to choose an image so we're going to select image and concrete 5 lets you drag and drop Sorry, and then um, once you drop that that image block, it'll let you go through the menu and uh, pick an image. Um, if you don't have the image already uploaded, you can upload files right here. It'll bring you through, let you find what you're looking for, upload it, and then you choose it just like that. The um, image, I mean, sorry, the alt text is what you're going to want to use. Uh, for people with disabilities so always use your alt text so for this one uh, you could just write uh, the title of the the post you can write a picture of salmon whatever you want so it's people with screen readers can um, identify what that image is so always use that and also if you're using um, a lot of a lot of places like Pinterest if you drop a, a link in a Pinterest or somebody's pinning this post uh, the title of it is actually pulled from the alt text so it's worth being thoughtful of what you put in your alt text um, so I'm gonna put uh, salmon just to here we go that's what I put earlier and then add it and then um, it shows up wherever you uh, wherever you drop the block originally you can drag and move it around so if you click it, you also have this additional menu saying design and custom template. So for, for your particular theme, if you go into that menu and click this little cog right here, your custom template, you can say add title. Um, they also, if you cut custom classes, you can go down here. These are pre-created classes for you know your convenience, the title or the theme developer. Put them in there so image centering and or image full this will kind of stretch it to span the whole length of that block so you can play around with those as you see fit um, so you can add another content block so you go scroll down and you want it to go underneath that image this is where you would add more text and then um, it's just like uh, in Word or any other what you see, WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get editor. You can edit your um, text, insert links, etc. Um, save it. And it's uh, as easy as that. Now say we're good. Say this is all we want. We're going to save. Now... I can save the changes and say I want somebody else to look over this before I publish it live on the blog. This is where I would hit save. Now if I want it to go live and everything that I've just done is live, everybody can see it as long as they come to this URL, then that's when you hit publish. Now since I'm making a demo on a live site, I don't want to publish this, but um, that's what you would do. And you can always uh, come back in to an old post and edit it by going, this is your main menu, going to uh, sitemap. Let me get out of edit mode. Just go 
discarding any changes I just made. I'm going to go to my site map and it'll show me all the pages on the whole site. Um, so we'll just pick the one I want, watch what you eat. I'm going to visit it, but there are many other things you can do here. So once you visit it, you have to visit the page to edit it. I guess I didn't push a publish of a edit I made. And then you would come here and click edit this page and you get right back to where you were. So I hadn't originally censored this image. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, sorry, full, make it span the entire width of the text box here so that it matches. Now I am going to go ahead and publish that. So now this is live. Everybody can see it and you can see the URL slug is right there. And that's about it. Simple as that. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, and hopefully this will save you some time. Thanks.